Hey guys, so this is going to be a massive, massive update about my hair journey. It has been nine months since starting my flat ironed natural hair journey. For those of you who are new subscribers to my channel or who happen to just stumble across this video, in January, I decided that I wanted to get my hair flat ironed to initiate this journey. And so I went to a professional because at that time, and, and still even now, but I'm better than when I first attempted to flat iron my hair about eh, probably two, maybe even three years ago now. But anyways, so I went to a professional thinking that she would be a trustworthy person to flat iron my hair. And long story short, if you're interested in the entire story, I'll leave the link in the description box below where I detail the situation. But anyways, long story short, she ended up butchering my hair and I had to cut off about three to four inches of my hair, maybe more in some places, and that left me at about neck length hair. And so it was chilling at the base of my neck at the end of that event. So anyway, so I have been working to rebuild the health of my hair and also to retain length in my hair. And so as far as length retention goes, I think I've done a pretty good job, surprisingly. And so I was doing a pretty good job with the health of my hair until the middle of June to about the end of July. And so it was about six weeks where I was neglecting my hair due to stress. I just did not have the time or energy or focus to even worry about my hair. And so as a result, it suffered a lot of dryness and brittleness, which of course leads to breakage. And so I'm now trying to recover the health of my hair from that situation. And so here I am now. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get into the update. This is going to kind of be a little bit of everywhere because there is a lot of content that I want to cover, but my hope is that there's going to be a little bit of logic when it comes to the order of what I'm speaking about. So anyways, let's just go ahead and start out with the success or failure or whatever of this flat iron, my fifth flat iron, okay? So I flat ironed my hair in January, February, March, May, and now September, okay? So anyways, this time around, my hair did not hold very well at all. I think because I am deeper into the summer, because it is more humid down here, because it was raining all the time, my hair just naturally wanted to hoof up, which is fine because I love big hair. But at the same time, it's harder to maintain the style per se when your hair is poofy like that. So anyways, right now my hair is in this bun Okay, because after I styled my hair with the Jane Carter Solutions Wrap and Roll to do that flat twist out, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below, to do that style, you probably can't tell in the clips that I edited together, but it is a watery solution that kind of reverted my hair. And so right now, I have a lot of texture going on, not only from the flat twist out, but also my natural hair texture trying to poke its little head through again. And so I decided for today, because I do have an eye appointment to get a new prescription for my glasses, I just threw it in a bun. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I decided to style my hair with that product knowing that there was the potential for it to revert because I knew I was going to wash my hair today. Now fingers crossed, my wig okay, is supposed to arrive today. And I really do hope it arrives today because if not, I don't know what I'm going to do because I ran that last wig through the dirt, down, down, under, and it's no good, <laughs> okay. I do have a, gar um, a wig sitting in the garage, but I don't really like it and I probably just need to throw it away. I just haven't. So I'm hoping that my wig arrives today so that I don't have to walk around looking crazy tomorrow. Especially because I do have a football game to go to. My cousin wants me to go and support him. I want to support him. So yeah, got to figure that out. 
So the first thing that I want to talk about is the heat setting that I flat iron my hair at. So when I flat iron my hair, you know that I use the Remington Purple Ceramic Flat Iron. And I really do like that flat iron. And when I use it, I use it at 370 degrees, which I think is a pretty good temperature, but I honestly don't think it's hot enough. And I think that may explain why I'm unable to maintain my hair for a longer period of time. Because if you remember my first flat iron that the stylist did, my hair actually remained straight for a pretty long period of time. But she used a way higher heat setting and she passed over my hair multiple, multiple times times and so I think that contributed to it lasting longer and staying straight longer but my hair also smelt very burnt after that okay my hair smelled terrible and it took several months for me to get rid of that smell I want to say it took about four and a half months for that smell to finally fade completely away and so after this time flat ironing my hair my hair is not left smelling like who did it and what for. It doesn't smell like burnt hopes, aspirations, and dreams. It just smells like hair or whatever product that I have on my hair. And so anyways, long story short, next time I flat iron my hair, I think I'm going to raise the heat setting to 390 or 400. The Remington flat iron that I have only goes up to 410. I don't think 410 is going to be necessary, but I am going to try... 390 or 400 next time around to see if I can get sleeker results for longer without the burnt hair smell, okay? Another thing is, one of the things I said in one of my previous videos is that I was not going to reapply heat after the initial flat iron, including hot rollers. Well, I lied about the hot rollers because two days ago I did, well, I guess yesterday, Yesterday, I applied hot rollers to the top and to the edges. I was going to do it all over, but for time's sake, I just wasn't able to. And so I kind of just used it to try to flatten out the part and the edges, but it didn't really work like I intended. Now, with that being said, I think it's good that I went ahead and did it because I don't feel like it's enough heat. Like, they get hot, but I don't feel like it's enough heat to do any real damage. But at the same time, it didn't last. You know, I put those in, I let them sit for 10 minutes, took them out, looked amazing when I took them out. But because of the humidity, because of how my hair responds to the humidity, it just didn't last. And so knowing that now, it's really kind of pointless to even do hot rollers because it's not going to last. So I'm putting unnecessary heat on my hair for a style that's not going to last. And so the only way I can see myself using it is if I was trying to style my hair for a very specific event that I was like hosting in the house. Like I never have to take a step outdoors because as soon as I hit outdoors, boom, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so that's that.